Let me kill him with flows. At the same time, let me chat about road. Better man a pro can when they get dough. Most of the man them rep the postcode, but I don't know why we like the postcode. I have to say from the get go, you are a very young MC. You are very early in your career, but you've had like the type of career in like your first few years that maybe a lot of artists hope they have in their whole career. How would you describe the last few years for novelist, man? Eventful. You know, like, you see all the landmarks in Grime, like the landmark points in the last few years where, like, for example, I don't know, man, like, being nominated for a mobile, you know, being at the Brits, I don't know, just travelling to different places, you know, like, all the time. Like, I can say that, yeah, I was actually there. You know the ones that, even if I don't write a lyric about it or act like, yeah, I'm the man because I was there, but man was there. If you, when you check back and look at the footage or the, the photos or just affiliation, you'll know that, raw Novelist was actually there and, you know, because I ain't really made a big deal out of it. I feel like whatever comes in the future is just going to add more to the picture. I and mean, when people really check and backlog stuff when I'm popping off, they're like, raw yeah, man, I was putting in work from early. Do you feel the right now that your name should always be mentioned when it comes to grime, when it comes to UK, you know, very talented MCs, yeah, MCs up, on the rise, right, yeah. your name needs to be, you feel like you've had, yeah. you've got that right now, yeah? Yeah, because you know what it is, I've had a lot of influence on, on the biggest to the smallest artists, you know, I've brought through crews of guys, I've, you know what I'm saying, I've given advice and produced for older MCs and you know what I'm saying, just like, yo, this is what's popping right now, old school thing, get me young energy, blah, blah, you know what I'm saying? different flexes and you know people respect me for that so if anyone wants to talk about grime in 2016 i'm gonna be somewhere you know the ones I, i'll give you an example you see someone like jammer jammers whenever you talk about grime you see him somewhere in someone's photo or just in the background or producer for someone he's on their timeline yeah he's on the timeline blood and that's that's my thing man i'm i'm on a snow hype like, i don't really care about being a man because i'm i'm the man for my fans you know them ones there blood so i just want to be here doing what i'm doing and if you're going to chat about Graham, I'm going to be there somewhere, you know them ones. It's, it's very important that we put some of these things on the table because I feel like um, your fan base out there is is very evident. You know what I mean? Like when it comes to you putting out new music, the anticipation's there. If you go and see Novelist perform, it is shut down. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like for you, I know that your career is very serious at this point in time, 2016. Mm. Like you've been doing music for a few years now as well. Do you remember the point in which you said, all right, I am actually a serious music musician yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, this yeah, is I my do. career. I do. And, and you know what it is? Me and my mum both came to the same conclusion. And it's probably when I was about 16, yeah? And I first linked up with, maybe even 15. When I first linked up with Grand Mixer, Carl, um, I can't remember, I, I met him. Me and my old manager, we met him. And then he was on Pirate. And I remember I just wanted to go pirate badly because that's that's the that's the dojo, you get me fam? That's what that's the training ground. So when I've gone pirate, that's when I was like, yeah man, I'm really doing this thing. Gone pirate a couple weeks. One time mum didn't want to drop man to the station. I said, Mum, don't block my career. But I've never ever said nothing like that before. Before it was just a thing, like raw man's doing a thing. And we kinda of both laughed about it, raw man's taking this as a career now, you get me? And that's when I said, Yeah man, really gonna do this thing officially. Like I've always intended on being an MC whether it was profitable, whether it weren't profitable, you know the ones there, but now it's like, it's a thing, yeah, yeah. you get me? And that was a point where I could say, yeah, rare. The, the, the pirate, that's what really set man's name and the foundation, that's what made other people who weren't from the ends know about man, you get me? Was this the ever, was this always the first choice? Was it always, I'm going to be an MC, I'm going to be a musician, or was there, oh, maybe I might do, you know, IT nah, or... No, man, it's the only thing, man, you know, because I, I, bruv, you know, you want to know something funny, I've been spitting and producing since I was about six. Honestly, because you see how? my uncle. When you say like since six, how? No, literally as it sounds. You see my uncle, he had the softwares and them things there. So even certain times, sounds rude. It might even be a punishment, but it's not a punishment. In As a kid, you think it's a punishment. So, yeah, sit, you're going to have to sit here and watch me produce. So I was just, these times, I'm taking it all in. I'm learning. You know the ones there? Yeah, hey, uncle, I want to make a beat. Yeah, come sit with me, boom, boom, boom. So he showed me the ropes from early and, you know, that's what really made me who I am today. So big up my uncle every time. Yeah, but I've been doing that since I was about six. So your mum is fully behind your career? Yeah, fully, man. She fully, yeah? Thing, man. So like you have no, you feel no way in showing her all your music? Bro, you and see that, yeah? all the MC boys that's <laughs> out here right now, they know my mum. Oh, you know, for real, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they know my mum. They've met my mum. Are mom. you the eldest child? No, I'm not. My, I've got an older brother. He's the nangest producer in this thing right now. Blood, oh, yeah, yeah, of course you told me. You know me, it yeah. is. We're just taking our thing. You know, I'm playing right now. I'm playing the, the fable of the tortoise and the hare. So man's trying to move like the tortoise. Mm -hmm. Man don't really care about the hype. 
care about who looks like they're the man because at the end of the picture you're going to see who really is the man and mm -hmm. who's not the man mm -hmm. so you know you know going to bring my brother through in any way that i can start labels whatever whatever we've got to do to you know keep the thing moving the man but with yeah. the plan yeah man with a plan but my mum she's behind all of that as well so you know from when i was first getting pirate radio doing little ciphers she might even drop man and just buck up. Yeah, man, it's my bridge and um, blah, blah, blah. MC name, boom, boom. Ah, oh, nice to meet you. She'll call them by their MC name because she respects that. They're a musician. Yeah, my mum backs the thing fully, fam. What, does she have a background in music? Or does she have a history in music? Yeah, she likes to sing. She likes oh, to yeah, sing. for real? Yeah, she likes what, to sing. Is, 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 it, is it a mystery? A singer, is your mum's identity a mystery? Yeah, man. She's yeah. like, I, I might you keeping put it, my mum on keeping a tune it? one day, No, man. but are you keeping it quiet? Like, is oh, no, 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 no. My mum's not no big time on. Nothing like that. You know, my mum cares about the youth, but. She's got a couple songs, she's made a couple tunes and that. Not really out there like that, but you know. So music definitely runs in the blood, man. Yeah, yeah, Uncle yeah, yeah. making it's music, mum, you know, mom, singing and stuff. Yeah, my nan's always playing like gospel or just banging something, playing some music that sounds vibish, you know. And, and like, like, like people have said that um, the poster boy of grime, the yeah. grime poster boy, like obviously you've heard that, right? Yeah, yeah, I hear that all the time. How do you man. feel about that when you hear that? How does, how does that make you I, feel? Do you know right? what it is? I understand it. A lot of people don't understand it. I'm not going to act like I'm not doing things. I am doing things, but, you know, I don't make a show out of it. I don't ever write lyrics about my achievements. I just write lyrics that are sociable, you know, that people understand. But I don't make a hype out of things. But it doesn't mean man hasn't been active in even pushing bare man's careers. Mm. You know them ones there. So when people call me the poster boy and all of this stuff, I get it. Some people don't get it, but what can I say, blood? How are you going to believe I'm big if I don't tell you I'm big? You don't feel any pressure no. with those expectations? No, because there's no expectations, <laughs> bro. I'll tell you why, it don't stop till the casket drops, blood. Yeah. You know the ones there, blood. It stops when I say it stops. So, yeah. you know, even like, there's, there's a big thing in, in, in the music industry of people talking about, yeah, oh, I don't want to say this in case I get blacklisted. Or, but, bro, the music overrides all of that stuff, bro. If you're banging off, what, do you think the fans are going to blacklist you, fam? Unless you do a, like, a madness, mm -hmm. yeah, and put yourself in a deeper situation where you blacklist yourself, that's different. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, I don't feel no responsibility. I don't feel no pressure, like, because, as I said, I'm the man, but I'm not the man in the sense where I'm trying to be the man. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, you can see what I'm doing. Like, you can, my word is bond. If I say, right, I'm going to be at this set, I'm going to turn up, do bond. You've seen that I've done that. Whereas a lot of men are on this, yeah, I've got this many views, this means blood. It doesn't mean nothing, fam. It doesn't mean nothing. What are you actively doing for the young people? What are you doing for yourself? What are you doing for your people around you? How long are you spending in the studio? What are you putting out? What are you saving? Like, you know what I'm saying? How good does your music sound? You know what I'm saying? And that's what my whole career is based off of. So I don't care about, oh, Rob, being top way in the charts or being Bacar. Really and truly, man's in the end. Jewelry on all the time, tracksuit thing. But that's just how I live. So, to me, that's that's a real grime thing, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm living that every day. So when people call me the poster boy, to me, it doesn't come with no responsibility, bro, because if it's that, it's that. So, from your perspective, your age, there's always been a debate over the years, uh, what is grime? Yeah. Like, your definition in 2016 from a 19-year-old grime MC. Yeah. Like, what's the definitive explanation but from Nobelist? Grime is a very specific sound. You know, like, people like to... Um, switch it up for their own comfort of their own releases to make it sound like they're still with the thing when really they're not really, but it's a social thing. You know the ones there? Nah, grime is a direct sound. It sounds a certain way, very raw. You know, there's all, it's a bit, it's got umbrellas, you know, it's got that, that kind of melodic sound, like that. How can I describe it? You know, you've got the, the RNG, kind of the RNG kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to call it. The RNG kind of thing. Then you've got the old school kind of like slew them, like greasy mm -hmm. or roadside G. You know what I'm saying? There's different types of grime, but as soon as you hear grime in the UK, you can identify with it. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there's a lot of trap going on, a lot of this going on, but I, I like to maintain and call that trap or call a spade a spade. You know the ones there, blood. Like, I, when I go to other countries, I don't half do their thing so they accept, man. I do my thing and then they're either going to accept, man, or not. Mm -hmm. You know the ones there? And they say, right, yeah, no, he's a grime MC car. I'm going out there like, yeah, I'm a grime MC. I'm not going out there like, yeah, I'm a guy who does grime and here's my song with an American Don that sounds like trap <laughs> but I'm kind of spitting double time like Twister no that's not it my thing is you're hearing next Caribbean grooves and drum and bass grooves that you ain't heard in a normal song in your state or wherever you come from this is our thing so that's how I would define it I'll define it as a specific UK sound that was born in East born in South you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying